Rose family's attorney, who tells us she died around 11.30 this morning. In a statement, the attorney said, The Munoz and Machado families will now proceed with the somber task of laying Marlies Munoz's body to rest and grieving over the great loss that has been suffered. JPS Hospital said from the onset, JPS has said its role was not to make nor contest law, but to follow it. On Friday, a state district judge ordered the removal of life-sustaining treatment from Marlis Munoz. The hospital will follow the court order. It's what the Munoz family had wanted. Their supporters gathered outside the courthouse on Friday. As a mother and a wife, I just that you can't put yourself in his shoes, you know, and it's just it's great relief. But for some, those who left flowers outside JPS, it wasn't what they felt was right. To see that the family has failed her, the courts have failed her, the hospital that is supposed to be protecting her life is failing her, that's really sad. Aside from that prepared statement, the Munoz family is not speaking tonight. We understand Marlene Munoz's body was released to her husband. Her family is now planning her funeral. We're live in Fort Worth tonight. I'm Ray Vieta, NBC5. All right, Ray, thank you. Well, like we said, this story has gained so much attention. More than 158,000 people have seen the story posted on our Facebook page just today. We received more than 300 comments so far. Daniel Coons Nelson wrote, quote, Until you have to make such a horribly painful decision to let a loved one go, no one has the right to judge the choices made. And Stephen Allen McGraw wrote, I think the hospital is blameless in this. Their hands were tied by a poorly written law. Of course, you can read or leave your own comments on our Facebook page tonight. Just search NBC DFW. A Burleson family 